Hi ladies, welcome to CFG Construction. You are here to see the first part of the Surf Shack Beach Hut tutorial. Um, now, what you're going to need are at least a minimum of three sheets of 12 by 12 um, chipboard. This one is approximately one and a half mil thick. It's one I always use. It's, it's called Grey Board and you can find it on eBay. Um, there are other places, but I usually get mine from eBay. Um, if you haven't got 12 by 12, um, you could use A4, but you would need probably about four sheets. Now, um, you need to cut these chipboard down to the following sizes. You want the baseboard, which is 12 inches by six and a half. That's 12 by six and a half. Then you're going to want two pieces at eight by five. That's going to be your front and back. It's eight by five. Then you're going to want two pieces, which are going to be your sides. And these are seven by five. You want two of those. Then you are going to need some pieces for your roof. Now, the roof is going to be constructed using, I'm going to be using corrugated cardboard. Now, the roof is also going to be your covers for your mini that fits inside the shack. Okay, now you want to cut this down. This is actually too long. I should have cut this down a bit more. You need to cut this down to four. It's four. No, sorry five by eight so it's five by eight you want two at five by eight of the corrugated cardboard or chipboard or whatever else you're going to be using for the roof you are also going to need a piece for i'm going to use um a piece for the door you construct your door how you like, but I'm going to use another piece for the door. And that's going to be two and a half by five. OK, it's two and a half. I should put this on. I don't know why I didn't do this. Half by five. That's for your door. Um, yeah. And for the porch roof, you're going to want five by three. OK five by three for your porch roof and that's also out of corrugated cardboard all i've done is chopped up a um pizza box okay and then i've what i've done is i've peeled off one back one side of the paper i haven't quite finished peeling this bit off yet but it just gives this really old effect and and the roof looks like corrugated cardboard uh, corrugated roofing as well which you sometimes find in old buildings. Um, so, so you don't have to use that. It's, it's entirely your preference. Right, now, what we're going to... Oh, sorry, before I start, you're also going to need some construction strips. These, I make mine out of a 300 GSM um, card stock. This is craft card. Um, it is cut down from an A3 sheet. Now, what I do is I, was, I cut it about uh, one inch by whatever length you like and then you're going to add score tape to both sides like I've done here I use I do actually use score tape it's quite strong and I use it for all my construction purposes you can use as long as you use a double a strong double-sided tape or you could use a good quality wood glue uh, PVA glue okay but it just means that you're going to have to wait longer for it to dry before you can proceed to the next stage of your uh, construction. Right, now then. First of all, what we need to do is we need to cut. I've done one piece, as you see. Down. And we need the other piece. So you want your five by eight piece. Yeah, eight by five piece. Put the rest to one side. Now, what we're going to do. I'm going to use my grid on my scoreboard, on my sorry, on my craft mat to mark where I'm going to cut. And I'm going to count five inches up. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to mark it both sides. And I'm going to flip it round. 
and I'm going to mark it in the centre which is two and a half. Then using my craft knife I'm going to cut from the centre from point to point on each side. Now you want to do this on both of your front and back piece. One and what I like about this size of Beach Hut is that you it will take a nice size mini album but you will only need to use a six by six designer pad um, instead of using the 12 by 12 right there we have our front and our back practically the same that might be a little bit off there but I can always trim that down later right now what we need to do is to join all these together so using your construction strips I am going to add some score tape. I thought I'd done this already. Obviously, I haven't. A couple of pieces, but they're not long enough. There we go. Do that one. Now I'm going to cut this down. Just mark it there and we'll cut it down and I'm going to want four like that so another one come on So you can actually make this any size you like. It doesn't have to be this size. It could be smaller. It could be larger. It is entirely up to you. I am just showing you the construction or how I constructed mine uh, that you see in the photographs. I, although the one in the photograph was made slightly different, the construction was the same, but I actually covered it in um, different... Um, Although it was in cardstock, I did the boards as single boards and stuck them all on individually. Where this way I'm going to show you um, for this project is a lot easier and cheaper and quicker. Right, so you want four of those. Now I'm going to stick it all together. So... Make sure you stick these really on really well, giving it a good rub down. So you've got one front piece, then you want to get your side piece A. Eh? Now you want to line it up, but make sure you line it up at the bottom because sometimes, like you see here, it's slightly by about a sixteenth of an inch overlap. I'm not too worried about that at the top. It's as long as you make sure that the bottom is level because otherwise it's going to be wonky on your base right stick that down then you want to get the next piece stick it down Line up at the bottom again. This is such an easy project to make, but it can be, you can make it look so effective. It is entirely up to you. You can let your imagination run wide because there's wild with this. You could do it in pastel shades and make it look like um, a ice cream parlor stroke shack on the beach you know all different in pinks and yellows and greens or you could do it in tropical colours I 
I want to try and make my one look like it's been stood around for a hundred years. <laughs> so it's going to look quite old. Right, rid of all the rubbish. Now, before we stick this together, we need to put some strips, can, can, um, construction strips at the bottom because we need to be able to attach it to the base. So just move that out of the way a minute before I get some more of my strips. You could, if you wanted to, use um, wet glue for that. It would just mean it would take, unless you've got a quick drying glue, mine isn't unfortunately, um, it would take a while for it to go off. You'd probably need to leave it at least an hour or so to make sure that it was nice and strong. I did this earlier and I cut myself. Because this isn't the first time I've done this video. This is the second one. That's how far I got with the first one. <laughs> but the video went funny so I'm praying that this one will be okay I'm using a different program this time so unfortunately the quality of the picture isn't as good as I would have liked but I think it will be okay right I don't know I think I might need to do another one in it I'll just check right now as I say we've got to now cut stick this on the bottom so I'm going to mark that and then we want another one that size okay and then we're going to want this side as well I do hope you'll have a go at making this it is a lot of fun so that right okay so now we need to attach these to the bottom and the long one and a short one And a long one. Right. Now give that a good bunch down. Now we want to bring it round and we want to join these pieces up, remembering to make sure that the bottom is lined up. There we have the makings of our shack. Right now, before we remove the bottom of the tape, tape at the bottom, we need to mark where we're going to position our beach hut. Now, I like to position mine three quarters of an inch from the back. So I'm going to mark that and three quarters of an inch on each side. You don't have to go right the way down, just where the hut really is going to go and then the same on this side it's just helpful helps you line it up so now you want to remove the tape from the bottom I like to do is just stick this down like that. Now I'm going to stand up to do this guys because I don't I want to make sure I get it nice and straight. So I'm actually going to line up with my grid and I'm going to line up the back and then the sides 
just check before you stick it down. There you go. And now I can stick it in place. There we go. And there we have the main construction of Reach Up. See, I told you it was easy. Right. Um, I think what I'm going to do is leave it there and I'm going to come back in part two and we will. I will show you how to cover the outside. Um, actually, if you want to, you could cover the inside now or you could wait and see how I cover mine. Okay, guys, I will see you in a few minutes for part two. Bye.